gather some punks, go get some water in a hyper-colored post-apocalyptic future. That's my pick of the week. Hey everyone, it's Kylie at Games Unlimited. My pick for this week is Radlands. You can tell from the cover, this has definitely got that borderland style, post-apocalyptic, hyper-colored, over-the-top vibe, but it's a fantastic two-player, almost battle Einstein back and forth card game. So what you're gonna be doing in Radlands, first off, you're gonna pick three bases. This is where so much of the strategy of the game comes out. You're gonna be dealt a hand of six bases. I think there are over 30 in the box. So you're dealt a hand of six bases. You're gonna choose three to put down. These are the bases that you are protecting over the course of the game, but each of them is gonna give you a somewhat unique special ability. So the choice of bases is very important, plus it's gonna determine your starting hand size. So right off the bat, you've gotta decide, do I take this base that gives me a lot of starting cards but might be less useful over the long term of the game, or take something that might give me zero starting cards in my hand but be a really, really cool base that I wanna utilize. From there, you're gonna put out your bases, you and your opponent have your bases across from each other, and you're gonna take turns playing cards and activating abilities, trying to damage the other player's bases, their camps, as they're called. If you can destroy all three of their camps, you win the game. One point of damage turns a camp or a person sideways. A second point of damage, it's destroyed. So in the case of camps, they're not gonna be able to use their special ability anymore. And of course, that gets you one step closer to victory. The other things that you're gonna do are draw a card. Every turn you're gonna draw a card and you're gonna have water. That's the resource in the game. You're gonna use water to pay for people that you're gonna put out there or events that you're gonna put out. So people are very important. You put people in front of your bases. You're gonna have up to two people in, that you can place in front of each base and that's gonna protect them. Most damage has to be done to an unprotected person or base and that's gonna be the thing in the front line on each of your three bases. So putting people out there is important. Those people also have special abilities that you can trigger. But what makes this game really cool, that, that I really love about it, is there's very few gotchas in the game. So you're not going to be able to, to play too many cards from your hand that your opponent has no idea what's going to happen. Because these abilities that your people have, much like uh, traditional CCGs like Magic and things like that, these abilities can't be triggered on the turn they come out. So if I put a person out and it's going to like damage uh, an unprotected base uh, when I pay for it, well, my opponent has a turn to protect that base or do something, because I can't use it that turn. Now you can discard cards, these are multi-use cards. Instead of playing them to put out a person or an event, you can discard it, there'll be a symbol in the corner, and that might give you a card draw. It might give you a damage, but cards in your hand are also a resource. I mentioned you only draw one card each turn. You can draw a second card, but you gotta pay two water, and you only get three water per turn, and that water doesn't carry over. Uh, another thing I haven't mentioned is these events. So you can play an event, and they're gonna have a one, two, or three on them, and that's how long it's gonna take from the trigger. So you place them on the board, if they're on a two, next turn it moves up to a one, the turn after that it's gonna trigger. So again, powerful effects, but your opponent has time to plan for them. That's one of the things I really like about this game. I love games where it's not so much about surprising your opponent with something, it's laying it all out there. Here are the things that I'm trying to do to you. You're not gonna be able to stop them all, so you have to decide what's important for you to sort of triage, get rid of, while also trying to go on the offensive on your turn. This is a fantastic game. Um, I'll be honest, like when I, when I first saw it, I was like, ah, another hyper-color post-apocalyptic game. Wasn't super interested. But when I found out it was a two-player back and forth game, it plays in like 20 to 30 minutes. It's super fast, very replayable. Again, that choice of bases at the beginning of the game is huge. It determines your whole strategy. After that, it's a common deck of cards that you're drawing from you and your opponent trying to figure out what the best plays are. Highly recommend if you like quick two-player games, I think this is gonna be a staple right up there with things like uh, Rift Force, Lost Cities, Battle Line, Morales, just a great two-player back and forth card game. That's Radlands. I'm Kylie at Games Unlimited. Please come on down, pick up a game, take it home, and unbox some fun.